It has been a hot minute since I've picked up my vlogging camera, but I'm so excited to be vlogging this trip. My stepbrother is getting married in a few days in Hot Springs, Arkansas, but Sean and I have never been here. We drove in earlier this morning and it's Sean's birthday today, Big 36. So we are going to go celebrate at dinner right now and I'm gonna share with you everything that we do in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Time. We just had dinner. It was great. We went to DeLuca's. The pizza was delicious. If you follow Dave Portnoy at Barstool, he actually came there and rated the pizza pretty high. It was like an 8.7 or something. So it was really good. We just walked into a sugar shop. There's 108 ice cream flavors. Tables full of cotton candy. Any kind of sweet that you could imagine is in a clear box. Insane. I have a cavity just looking at all of this. I got the brown sugar hazelnut ice cream and it's delicious. You want to try? Yeah. It's good. It was seven dollars for a small. <gasps> seven dollars for this? Six seventy-five. Well I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. Don't you worry. I'll show you this building in the morning, but this building is on a hill that towers over the city. And ever since Sean and I arrived here, we've just gotten like the heebie-jeebies from it. And we thought it was the Arlington, but it's not. It used to be a mental institution. Behind me, that's the Arlington. We'll get closer to it. And supposedly Al Capone would stay there. And the room that he would stay in has like a sign on it and everything. And the Arlington has tunnels. So there's a few tunnels underneath the city and uh, it's just and insane. To the Ohio Club and to one of the back houses. Yeah. She also said that the Arlington is most likely haunted too, but for sure this mental institution. And that brown building in front of it has a bowling alley underground and so the bowling alley has a ghost. That is a better view of the Arlington. Good morning, the clock just turned 8 a.m. And this building that we're in, I said it last night, I don't get like haunted vibes, but it's definitely very historic and everything like creaks and you can just hear everything in the walls and it's just, it was a hard time sleeping last night. Also, there was a giant storm. It felt like it was like right out of our window. So I kept getting woken up. I was able to sleep a little bit. I'm depuffing my eyes because I only got like seven hours of sleep last night, I think. And for most people that they would be like, oh, that's great. But for me, I need more. Today is an exciting day because we are gonna get to go to one of the spas and bathhouses. I booked this for Sean for his birthday months ago and I'm so excited. And we've been to bathhouses, but in other countries. And so to be at a bathhouse in Arkansas is crazy to me. I'm excited to experience that. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So that's what we're gonna do. The first call of action is to go get coffee and breakfast breakfast and just to walk around the city and see it during the morning time. Here's a hotel room tour, but being in bed edition. <laughs> You've got these beautiful windows to the left of the bed. And then this door is really weird. There's a hallway, like a miniature hallway, almost like a seating area right outside of the wall. So we kept this door locked because that's that's just a weird door. Obviously your dresser, your fridge, your little mini bar, coffee setup, TV. That's the main door that you come into the room with. This is the laziest room tour I think I've ever given in any of our years of traveling. <laughs> it is time to get up. Let's make things happen. Sean just found the haunted bowling alley basement building that our waitress was talking to us about yesterday. <laughs> This is the Arlington building in the daylight. This is Sean's second day as a 36 year old. How do you feel? Cold. 
old are your bones click clacking? Yeah. <laughs> we are having breakfast at the pancake shop this morning, or at least going to try and get a table. For breakfast, I got scrambled eggs. The sausage and the bacon are from local farms. And then I got an English muffin, and then Sean got chocolate chip pancakes. And then that's apple butter and jelly. We stopped and got some tea, and then Sean got coffee at Collective. Cheers. This street is so loud. We have a few minutes to kill before our family meets us in this downtown area to go to the spa. So we'll walk around, we'll see the sights. Fortune is mine for the telling right, and yours see. for the hearing. Come, let's open. Let's see our fortune. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead and let Zoltar tell you more. Okay, tell me more. You have been holding on to the idea of something or someone in your Zoltar life that no longer you. serves you at this time. Doing this is not productive. Too, you hold on because you are afraid or don't know what's next for you. Heed my advice, dear one. As soon as you let go, the path reveals itself. It is time to embrace the next stage that life has planned for you. Believe me, it is much better than what's behind you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we never fall into those tourist traps, but I just, I just had never. to check it out. Yeah, never say never, I had to check it out. But I do like this little thing it printed out for me. Yeah, it's like from the movie Big. It is. This is the spa and bathhouse that we are going to spend some time in today. I think you pronounce it Quapaw Baths. I could be totally wrong in butchering that. Here's our first hot springs experience in Arkansas. Oh wow, yeah. That'll give I mean, you a... That's like a hot bath. That's oh, like a really that's hot, a hot bath. bath. Yeah. <laughs> and get ready for our massages. Sean's robe and his shoes and then mine and my shoes. Sean and I are dressed. We've got our robes on, our little slides. They can't see your head. <laughs> okay, let's go. Perfect, thank you so much. Yeah, this is such a cute little boutique. These. Oh, I do oh, need those. And you need this little shirt. Stop, to go okay, with I'm it. getting it. That's I it. have to. That's it literally is my name. I mean it it's all says over. Taylor. There's like all kinds of dogs too. Okay, like done and done. Sign me done up. I am obsessed. People online, I know y'all are gonna roast me, you're gonna think this is so ugly, but this is like literally me to a T but these are too big these are mediums and I need a small good morning it's the next day we're at breakfast yesterday we spent probably like what four hours or something at the casino with my mom and my stepdad and they were doing great and then it was like a roller coaster then they were doing great then it was a roller coaster it was crazy so I didn't get much footage of that good morning we just ordered breakfast and now we are gonna have a day full of hiking I'm really excited my sister and my brother they're about to meet us at breakfast and then we're gonna go for a hike and walk around the town breakfast just arrived I got egg whites an English muffin sausage some fruit we have another fruit plate on the way and then Sean ordered a French toast. That's an insane amount of powdered sugar. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you. That's the hospital that we told y'all about probably like two days ago. And it definitely is straight out of a scary movie. We're going in it. No, we're not. <laughs> Security just drove by. <laughs> we can't get in. It's like uh, where they have the people 
I feel bad because I kept calling this a mental institution, no, but that's not. what, but that's what the waitress told me that it was. But supposedly, this is where the World War Two veterans were well, brought. Well, well, if you oh, World War One and World War Two were brought to if they come had in. Missing limbs. Yeah. But if you look it up, it says like the first thing you do when you Google it, it says. It's a 988 suicide and crisis lifeline. Oh. Like, but go look look at yeah. the pillar. The I know. It says it all. Yeah. It but has then, the cannons and the drums huh. and the United States. So it like, closed Union. in 2019, Eagle. Sean? Yeah, and then we just talked to a city worker, and he was like, I would not go in there. Like, every time that I've gone in to do my job, really crazy things happen to me. And, um, and then he was being very vague, but he's also like, I'm under contract, so I can't tell you guys, like much right at dusk now then explain those lights on a building that's all boarded up and everything oh. it's not a reflection we cannot explain that at all and it's just you out there yeah i was down below i was sitting like we're all saw i was sitting right about here and they're just we found ornaments for our travel tree collection and it says Hot Springs National Park. And then on the back of it, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but on the back of it, it's the Quapaw Spa that we went to yesterday. So that's gonna go on our travel tree during Christmas. been a full day I wanted to share with you my dress that I wore though because it's just so beautiful and I just got it so I figured I would share it with you that's what the back looks like tomorrow is the wedding day oh by the way I was not with the bride today so I was not wearing white to any of her bridal things or the wedding things or anything like that I don't want that to come across like that Good morning. Sean and I ate breakfast at the hotel this morning and then we just pulled up to this really cute little coffee shop in a parking lot halfway to my mom's condo where we're gonna get ready for the wedding this morning. But I wanted to document, oh no, is it closed? But I've heard really good things about this place, so let's see. Good morning. The woman working the front window is so darling. I mean, this whole entire coffee shop is just adorable. It's called the coffee house. I haven't drank coffee in a long time, but I feel like this is my only option today. So I got a sugar-free hazelnut coffee. That could turn me back on to coffee. Yeah. But it just messes up my stomach. It's just not, I don't know. Sorry, this is gross.
Mason and Kelly have gotten married and now we're at the reception. It's beautiful. And they have this little booth where you can, or this table where you can pick up the phone and leave them a recorded message. And then after the wedding, they'll listen to it. So we're going to do that right now. Hi, this is Mason. And Kelly. And we're so thankful that you're here. Please leave a message after the meet. And we'll see you on the dance floor. My voice is basically gone, but now it's time to take this makeup off, wash my hair, wash all this hairspray and everything out of my hair. We're going to go to bed. We are all driving home tomorrow, so I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early in the morning. You're going to help us get packed up, and we're going to head back home. Good morning. It's go home day. Sean and I are packing up the hotel room. We need to be out of here in like 20 minutes. Um, we slept good for the most part. But this bed, like, don't get me wrong, we're super grateful to be in a comfy hotel room, have a roof over our head, have a bed, everything like that. But this bed is so incredibly soft that both of our backs are like in agony right now. Um, it's just not how we normally have it at home. So our backs really hurt. So we're just excited to go home, get in our own bed. Um, but first we're gonna meet everybody for breakfast. Everybody meaning my family, so. Say good morning, Stunty. <laughs> we are all packed up and ready to go home.